Hi, welcome to the Quantity Serving Studio, a digital platform for all quantity serving professionals. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe for more quantity serving related videos. So in this video, I will be explaining how the length of duct measurements is done. So basically, all the duct pieces are measured in a linear way and the fittings can be included or it can be separately enumerated. So it depends upon the standard method of measurement used in your project and the BOQ, what it specifies, what your project requirement is. If it is required that a fittings needs to be enumerated separately, only the length of the rectangular pieces are taken and the fittings are separately counted. But if the requirement is that the fittings also needs to be included included within the linear measurement then the measurement is taken out the center line over the fitting so i'll explain it using autocad you can see if it is a normal rectangular piece you can easily find the length like you can the measurement will be always be from the center line so you can just measure like through the center line and you'll get the length you can click on the center part and then measure so here you can get the length here now imagine if it is an offset so one duct is coming from here and there is an offset piece this is an offset piece this red part is offset piece and it is connected to another duct so in this scenario what we can do is you can just use p line and then click through the center part of the duct so you got the length and using t length application you can easily find the length of this part of the duct so if you have an application called t length you can click tl command click on the object just press enter you will get the length now this is a reducer there is one duct coming 300 into 200 and it is connected to another piece of duct 450 into 200 in this scenario what we can do is this part will be till the center part of this piece till here this will be the length for 300 into 200 and the remaining will be from the center part till the remaining duct so this will be the length for 450 into 200 piece. This is how you can measure the length throughout the fittings. That is through the center of the duct and over the fitting, center part of the fitting. Now imagine this uh, this piece coming. One duct is here 450 into 200 and it is, this is a transition. It is connected to a circular or oval duct. So again, the length can be till the center part of this piece will be 450 into 200. And then this is a 200 mm diameter circle part so that part will be from the center till the remaining so this part will be the 200 mm duct piece length now in a t section you have one 450 200 coming then it is divided into a 300 into 250 duct here and a 250 into 200 duct so here the lengths will be the 450 into 200 part will be from the center part till here this will be your 450 into 200 length your 300 into 250 length will be in the center part till here and your 250 into 200 length will be in the part till here this part so this is the way you calculate the length of each part including the duct I mean the fittings so here there's elbow also i'll explain that also the length will be here 300 into 200 and it is connected to an elbow and another duct is connected 400 into 300 so 300 into 200 part length will be from here to your center here and your 400 into 300 part will be 300 into 200 will be till here and your 400 into 300 part will be in the center till so if at all the fittings needs to be separately counted only the rectangular part will be taken so you'll you will count there will be the duct here total duct length you will be count uh, taking the length till here then you will count this is counted as one and then the remaining duct the white part is the duct so you will length from here this part to the remaining rectangular piece you will be calculating the length and the red parts will be separately enumerated and all these can be recorded in an excel sheet so i have made a this is an excel sheet where you will mention which from which drawing you are taking off the quantity from which ahu or which equipment you are taking the length it is always better to calculate the length of ducts from each equipment so there will not be any confusion so from ahu1 you are taking there you need to mention what type of duct it is if it is a supply air duct or a return air duct or an extract air duct which floor it is they mention the dimensions the width and height which is available in the drawing then the calculated length and then you can add a wastage of 10 percentage it is normally 5 to 10 percentage then you can this sheet is for including the fittings so if the fittings needs to be separately counted only the rectangular piece needs to be 
recorded here and the fittings can be separately counted you can mention the quantity again the rest of the things will be similar the type will be different you will need to mention what type of fitting it is so hope you understood how to take the duct length using a linear measurement thanks a lot for watching this video hope you have gained some knowledge and it will be useful for you in your professional life keep learning stay safe bye